on the last episode of the Dragon Sail Puppets. Open! Oh, 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 oh! <laughs> He's back! It's that freak with horns on his head and leprechaun boots and a tutu. I, I really don't know how to kick one out. I was just about to sit down to my old straw tea. I need you to give me one of your evil herb tonics to mess up this hussy freak. Get thee behind me, you Studio 54 reject! What's this? When evil charms are set to loose, pronounce thee thricely, Andarus? Well, there is an entry for the word Andarus, which denotes a German shepherd pedigree. Roos the Andarus? <laughs> that silly hound ain't gonna be the seat of my power. I'm going with Andarus. Okay, Velveeta Flames, I told you not to wear that top anymore. Head the loose! Yeah, you better run. It works better if you say it thricely. Oh, no, you don't, you green hussy varmint. Head the roof! Head the roof! Hussy, I done told you, head the roof! <laughs> oh, crap. Are we having a slumber party? No. As part of your contractual obligation, I will need you to keep your mouth shut and stay at the foot of the bed all night. Sounds like a slumber party to me. Well, here's the deal. And before I start talking, I want to make sure you are able to concentrate on what I'm saying right now. No, oh, yeah. I'm not here yodeling in the wind. Oh, no. Okay. Well, it turns out that Valley of the Damned Dime Store Tutu Freak ain't getting scared off when I yell the word Adnaroos at him. So I'm thinking now the Joker don't know how to spell. So I'm going to see if he's scared off by an Andaroos. That's where you come in. By a who? Well, that's what Catatonia claimed you were. A German Shepherd Andaroos. We even called your mama. Ah, oh yeah, ah, oh yeah, ah, oh, I remember well the days of yore, plotting my trough on the Andalus plantation, frolicking with all the Appaloosas and the Andalusians. Dial the crazy back, hussy, and look me in the eye. Oh. So all I need from you to do is don't talk, uh. don't whimper, uh. don't pass gas. Don't do anything except scare the plum pudding out of that horny-headed green freak if he shows his ass up again tonight. Comprende, compadre? Ah, oh, yeah. You scare him off with what? Well, you could start singing your opera. That tends to clear a room. Ah! Is that him on the floor? That's my curling iron, General Patton. Oh. <laughs> What's that noise? It's so scary. That's the creaking of the boat, hussy. You know how the boat wants to creak. Ah, yeah. <laughs> Nasty thing to do. <laughs> ah! Buttered jalapeno cornbread, Bruce. Just stay there. I'll go get the phone. Huh? Oh, no. Oh, no, there he is. Ah! There's that unibrowed little gremlin ballerina pervert. Be sick him, dog. Sick him. Here. Here now. Who, me? Well, until Lassie shows the hell up. Here now, get it. Sick it. Sick it. Ow, ow. <laughs> Unibrow village people demon scary. Get back in there and gnaw his scrawny little asparagus legs off, you drunk mongrel. Uh, any chance you might be a German shepherd and a roos, hon? I'm a golden retriever. Well... Bruce managed to fail his latest test of usefulness with admirable consistency. <laughs> Darling, I know you never learned how to be mean, but can't you cook up some kind of bloody moon, Lord knows I'm a voodoo child freaky stuff to get that ugly little gnome packing? I'm not good at working with dark energy. I can't stay mad that long. Boy, I sure can. Maybe you could invite him over for a ritual. 
Is a formal invitation required? I ask because the printer's out of tone. No, just draw a circle of salt and or unblemished rice and invite him over for tea. And coffee too, just in case. Do minions of hell take cream and sugar? I put it out. Oh, it's a good thing I don't have anything to do these days single-handedly running a major entertainment enterprise so I can host an anemic circus tent carny in cheap cotton tool from the other side. <laughs> you say lots of pretty words. Well, it's part of the craft, huh? But Lord, even my rich store of visionary genius can't manage to shoo away that colorblind green hockey puck. And don't tell me she ain't colorblind, girl. Lord, that pink chiffon with those blue velvet thrift store boots, honey. Uh -huh. It hurts me. I think that's what hurts me the most. At least he doesn't have big ugly hair. Right? <laughs> Lord. Oh. Well, hon, you gonna need to stand by with your magician's torch, all right? Okay. I gotta go see if Catwoman can't scrounge herself up some kosher tea biscuits and some doilies. Well, it wouldn't exactly be a seance we're conducting, Surrender. Well, whatever you wanna call it, can we get to it to the damn sweet? Well, would we be invoking or evoking? Huh? Are we calling in or calling forth? Oh, dirty possum stew. You see, in invocation, the microcosm floods the consciousness. Uh, Whereas in evocation, the uh, magician, having become the macrocosm, creates a microcosm. That one. Which? What? Oh, Catwoman, I don't have time for masterpiece theater, and they can't up the strength of my antidepressant until I get back home, so can we hurry this up? I'm just trying to get a freak out of my britches. That's a rather gray area. What? But I imagine we'll be asking the creature to manifest at a given location where he may or may not take cream and sugar. Just to be clear, you have no desire to undergo a possession of any sort, n'est-ce pas? You would be correct in that assumption. Well, it may not be necessary, ultimately. How <laughs> just the ravine! I, it's been decades since I've attended an actual summoning. <laughs> well, let's do it in the main dining hall. It's got lots of room and ain't nobody in there this time of day, so we can wail and flail and do all we gotta do to squash that little green sucker flat. Lo, verily, all you gods and spirits, listen up. First, I want to thank you all for all you've done to help Surrender out with her illustrious career. With all the talent and beauty and brilliance with which thou hast bestowed upon me. A little manna from heaven is always appreciated. <laughs> but what, are we on war rations or something? Let's go ahead and talk things up a bit. Blast out some blessings. You have my permission. Lord. Henri, your turn, hon. Oh, dear. Oh, perhaps just alter the evocation you created for the Leviathan, dear. Oh, that's all we need, Catwoman. Summon us up a big whale to swallow up the boat. Oh, need to get far. <laughs> Go, dear. The uh, earl left before us, our Moselle at our backs, or uh, our shield. Just do your best, dear. Uh, R O I E L to our west, Davethi to our east. Balibo, 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 Balibo. We are now protected from all harm. I know I feel a lot better. Oh, leprechaun freak spirit, we welcome thee into this hallowed hall of tea biscuits that you might speak of your intention. I want to say pretty words too. Hush, you silly jaff. You can say the last part. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cookie. Mm -hmm. uh, jelly on the head, gravy on the spread. I don't 
think that's right. Sweet mangoes, we're all gonna die. That demon's gonna kill us all. So won't it be. Oh, yeah, that's what I was trying to say. Okay, hon. Did we do it? Yeah. Oh, good. So, I guess now we just wait. <sighs> oh, now he's gonna be coy. Just to make y'all think I've hopped the train to crazy town. I would never say that, Surrender. At most, you may be exhibiting what we refer to in the artist journals as cognitive functional diversity. Ah, uh -huh. uh -huh. there he is. There he is, Catwoman. Uh huh. Who's cognitive now? Uh -huh. You get him, Aubrey. Sick him here, here now. Uh, I don't see anything. Well, 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 Bruce, you go. Sick him. Go now. Here. Yeah. Where is he? Is he on me? He's right there dancing his little Hustle 76 booty bumping dance in front of your fool face. <laughs> Catwoman, you see him, right? I, 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 I must admit to a certain befuddlement, sir. <laughs> but he's right there. None of y'all see that shucking and jiving little green hooker? Henri, remember? You saw him before, right? Uh, in season two, episode two. You blew on the Joker, remember? Any weird poof? Oh, oh. Well, I, I was just pretending I saw something. <sighs> well, grimy bolts and nuts. It's finally happened. Surrender's done bought the nut wagon. All the years of dealing with drug addled lobotomized musician babies has done me. <laughs> I knew it would. Lord. <laughs> Now it's a padded room for surrender, where she spend her days wrapped up in a scratchy wool jumper with no arms, sipping slimming shakes from a narrow straw, and being fed kosher tea biscuits with Georgia hot flash. Oh. <laughs> we'll shake my chicken in an oily bag. He done burned out. He's gone. See, it's like I always said, I think it's the mascara on that heifer. Georgia scares children away and she scares demons away. <laughs> uh, <yeah>. We're free. <laughs> well, I may be a little disappointed. I was unable to make the demon's acquaintance. But hopefully now, you will be permanently freed from his complicating influence. Oh yeah, oh yeah. He's gone for good. They never come back. Georgia Hot Flash has a zero return rate. 